almost like Batman. Hey, what's good guys? My name is Chris. Welcome back to the official WearTesters.com YouTube channel. Today we got a detailed look and review on these Bat Boys right here. This, yeah, the funny uh, dad joke, but not a good one. Anyways, these bad boys right here are the Air Jordan 12 in the black taxi colorway. It's uh, kind of like a new spin on the taxi stuff. I think they're kind of being, uh, they're being weird a little bit with the names, you know what I mean? Like I understand that the taxi, this is what a lot of people don't understand, especially new people in the sneaker scene. The name doesn't mean like, oh, this was inspired by a taxi. The taxi is referring to the yellow color. So a lot of people thought that those stealth Jordan ones, they were like, they're stealthy. That's why the logo's not and all this stuff. And it's like, well, no, the, the gray that they used literally is like called stealth gray so like that's why the shoe is stealth that's why like a varsity red shoe is called varsity red like the 11s because the color that they use is varsity red so yeah the nicknames don't mean much of anything unless it's a specific nickname like say the flu game where it points to an actual historical moment but it's wrong what do you mean the flu game that's semantics but whatever <laughs> he ate some pizza that he spit on apparently more people than him spit on it that's nasty most of you guys know that I don't love all black shoes. However, these right here are dope. Not just because of the materials and stuff, which are great, which I'll talk about in a second, but because they remind me of that poster that we were just talking about the other day. What did you say exactly? What poster? The Batman 89 poster. You said how good it was, like how oh, perfect yeah. it was, because it was just iconic, classic, simple, but got the point across completely. No words, nothing, just the logo. It was so good. That's what these remind me of. It reminds me of that poster for Michael Keaton, my Batman outside of Kevin Conroy. So anyways, these are releasing. I think they're awesome. Couple of reasons why. Herringbone traction for the win. You really can't go wrong with this. This is a great shoe on court, off court. It's awesome. I love the bottom too. Like it would have been really cool to have gotten the yellow traction pods. I'm just saying. Maybe it would have been too much. I don't know. Cause obviously we've got the taxi yellow and the branding and things like that. Plus it really highlights the carbon fiber shank, which is just gorgeous. So yeah, I really love that. The midsole itself is Phylon. And then inside of that is full length Zoom Air. It's the first Air Jordan to feature Zoom Air, let alone full length Zoom Air. And uh, it's just really great. Like I absolutely love this shoe. It is one of my favorites. Now the materials are my favorite part of the shoe outside of just the overall look and everything like yes there's some issues like the shape is definitely not right we have a beautiful pair of uh, originals right here white and reds I mean it's just not the same thing it's got a weird kind of like banana shape to it some of the paneling is off can those be considered nitpicks I suppose but if you're wanting something to be a, an actual recreation of the original then this maybe isn't quite it but I do think that it's close enough at least for now but again the materials are fantastic the top leather right here the textured leather that's supposed to be reptile inspired print it's okay like that's the part where where it's like, eh, it, it is what it is. It's definitely not as good as the originals or the 2004 version of the Retro 12s, but it's good enough. The main body though, the main build is just, this is one of those things where it's that material that I don't exactly know what it is. It's soft and it doesn't feel like it has a PU coat, even though it doesn't feel like genuine raw leather either. So clearly there's a coat on it. But uh, what were those, those Jordan 5s? Were they the jade greens? Oh yeah. So like that material, that's what this is. Like this feels awesome. It's also got the most beautiful texture to it that I wish was on the rest of the pairs of 12s that released because this is more reminiscent of these originals right here where the texture that's in there is damn near natural looking despite having a polyurethane coat that makes you know the white or the black or whatever colorway you're actually making the shoe. So yeah, like the heavy tumble that we see on a lot of the retro Jordan 12s wasn't actually on there. Like it's supposed to look like this. It's a textured leather, not a tumble leather so yeah I just think that the materials used on these are fantastic usually they cut corners on the tongue where you'll get like a synthetic tongue they don't do that here like the tongue is even the same material it looks great this is a beautiful and shoe again i don't love all black sneakers but hot damn these are sexy one thing i don't like is the craftsmanship on the tongue i've been seeing this a lot lately actually on multiple versions of the jordans and stuff like not just the 12 but this one is not too bad it's a little like off and things like that but it's this right shoe where it's just like bro like like y'all got lazy you know what i mean like it just it looks all wobbly it's just weird but i do think that they're gorgeous one thing that i will complain about and i don't even think this is a complaint i think this is what some people are going to complain about is that the 
tab right here that says Jumpman on it and the little, uh, I never knew what to call these, the, the plastic eyelets up here that are gold or whatever. But uh, yeah, I just think that some people might not like it. It's got kind of like an iridescent or pearlized kind of like look to it, almost like a car finish. So I think that that's really cool. But again, I think some people might be like, yo, that's not gold. You know what I mean? Like it's like fake gold or whatever and things like that. Cause I think it was, was it the playoffs? It was, they're right back there. So like this original pair has actual metal. What are these called? They're not grommets. Oh. That's what I was gonna say. We'll, we'll call them like eyelet grommets, but they're not. These guys right here are actually like a real brushed nickel finish because it's actual metal and things like that. And then those recent playoff 12s, they tried to mimic that and you can just tell it's kind of like coated. It just looks cheap. So I think that some people just might not like that. I personally don't care because it's just not something that bothers me that bad. I do think that it looks good with the pearlized look to it. I don't know if that was the look they were intending to create, but that's the look that they got. And again, I think that it looks all right. I think it's mostly because everything's all black. So it just really like pops and stuff adds texture if you will i think that's one of the reasons why i actually like the leather like it looks like oiled leather and then slick leather like if this is these are pretty the back of the shoe is gorgeous it's one of the most beautiful booties on a shoe i've ever seen the 23 stands out the tab itself looks amazing it's clean it's crisp it's so awesome. This reminds me of like the Gary Payton PEs without being the Gary Payton PEs. Now the insole is the Dream Cell stuff. Uh, again, don't like these, not a big fan of them. It's not something that was actually in the originals. So yeah, this is the original insole. I don't even know what this is. It's just like a basic EVA, you know what I mean? Like it's not anything special. I think the playoffs had an actual polyurethane insole that's an original colorway. So they gave it what would be considered an original treatment, but this is the actual original insole. So technically an upgrade if you wanna consider it one. Now, as far as sizing is concerned, go true to size. That's what I would recommend. That's what I got. They fit me great. Again, super comfortable shoe. I absolutely love these. The 12s, I think, is one of those shoes where it's just one that you should own at least one of. Doesn't matter what color, whatever floats your boat. There's a billion of them, so there's a colorway for everybody. Uh, again, these I just think are really clean. What do you think? I know you're not supposed to talk about it. I just need to know. What do you think about it? I do agree with you. I like the different textures, but I don't love it, but I like it. You just don't love the shoe. I don't love the shoe. Yes. I I love the shoe. I don't love black shoes, but this is one where I'm just like, yo. If Batman were made today, I could see him wearing these. Even though I know that he did not wear these in the originals because Jordan 12 wasn't a thing. If you can name both shoes that he wore in the 89 film as well as the Batman Returns film in the comment section, then hats off to you. You're awesome. And yes, I do know what shoes he wore. Do you? No. No? I've shown you them so many times. I know what the Green Goblin wears. What is it? <laughs> they're foam posits. Nope, it's the flight posits. Whatever, they're posits. They're not clogged posits. But that's not why I'm here. <laughs> I am here. Yeah, I'm gonna leave that in, you rubbing your nose. <laughs> of course, I just happen to have an itch there. I am here because do you know that this is the fourth year in a row that we will be doing 12 videos of sneaker shoes giveaways for Christmas? We just call it 12 days of Christmas. 12 days of Christmas. Or 12 days of giveaways for Christmas or the holiday season, whatever it is that you celebrate, we welcome all of it. But yes, today's day one. So what we're gonna do is uh, we'll be having like a mixture of uploads. Cause as you guys know, we have other team members uh, for the Wear Testers team in their videos. There won't be any giveaway announcement or anything like that or reminders. However, maybe we'll make them do it. I don't know. Well, I know next week it won't be. Yeah, in it's there. our. It's, <laughs> we we pre-filmed so far in advance that like that one we just didn't tell them, so that was our fault. But yeah. uh, at least in our videos, we'll have a reminder. We're not going to show every shoe that we're giving away or anything like that, just because it's honestly it's a pain in the ass. But we do have 12 days straight of giveaways. We do it via our Discord community. So if you don't know what that is, essentially it's just a community that we made to help uh, us get funding from the channel because like we buy all of this stuff to review the reviews are free even though our time is not so i know that you work a lot a lot on <laughs> editing the videos uh all of my time is spent filming all the b-roll and making sure that all the content is done um and then like i said we got other team members and things like that we buy all of their shoes as well none of the stuff that you see is seated unless stated otherwise and uh, basically we are self-funded via our community so uh, those awesome people pitch in every month and collectively we give back to the community really all year long but during the holiday season we like ramp it up to 12 yes level 12 so uh the first two pairs that we're giving away one of them's right over there so we did loosely announce this one in this video review uh we were just saying that we were going to be giving away two pairs of these we are but this is another one and no they're not all in my size or anything like that like obviously there is going to be a mixture of size nines but we give away everything so every size there will be a winner of so this is another one in addition to that we're also going to be including in each 
each giveaway member's box of shoes, Antidote Fresh times uh, Sense Sneaker Center, whatever. Uh, these are still available. They just restocked, so they did sell out. I know you said this is going to be quick, but it's not. <laughs> this is the opposite of It's not. <laughs> it's not quick, though. We got stuff to say, man. So, uh, yeah, so this will be included in your box. So congratulations to anybody that wins. So, yeah, I think Drew was doing the numbers. And he said that with all the shoes that we give away, like this year, it equated to like one shoe giveaway a week. Wow. I know. That's ridiculous. So shout out to everybody that supports us in that way. Uh, we greatly appreciate it. If you cannot support us in that way, and your way of supporting is just by viewing, liking, commenting, we appreciate you guys just as much. That's why the content's free. And with that being said. Thank you so much for being here. We greatly appreciate it. We'll catch you on the next one. So until then, have a good one.